Averagely, the National Labor Commission receives about 20 cases in a day and 450 in a month. However, with such huge workload, the Commission is inadequately financed. By law, the Commission is supposed to deal with any labor issue brought before it in three days. However, it's unable to file cases at the courts for settlement due to lack of funds. Speaking to City News on the sideline of a catty call by members of the Commission to the Chief Justice, Executive Secretary of the National Labor Commission, Ufuso Asamoah said, the situation is dire, hence the call to charge filing fees. The Labor Commission is GOG funded. And uh, for example, yesterday our water was cut because we owe, and government doesn't release money to us. On Friday, our lights went off. We dealt with that. There was no light on Friday, uh, no light on Monday. On Tuesday, that we were able to buy credit. We are prepaid. And as soon as we bought it on Tuesday, Tuesday morning, our water was cut. We owe about 63,000 cities. And as I talk to you now, there is no other. So there is the need for us, if we were generating some funds internally, then we could be paying for some of these things because we are unprepared. We buy the credit, the lights go off. Because we are GOG, we now have to apply to the Ministry of Finance. It goes through budget, goes through controller, comes to a schedule officer at the Ministry of Employment. Before it's audited, and the money goes to Bank of Ghana for us to go and cash. It takes a minimum of three days. So that is why the power went off, and for three days we were in darkness. And as soon as there is no light, we can't work. Air conditions are off, you can't use a photocopier, you can't use a computer. In hearing, we do recording, you can't do anything, and the work of the commission comes to a standstill. So there is the need to generate some money internally, so that at every point in time, we have some liquid that is cash. The lights go off prepaid, and immediately you are able to buy a thousand or this thing. We spend 20,000 every three weeks on electricity. You see, though, that is why we are saying that, yes, it is true that people who come to the commission, there are some who are very poor and vulnerable. But we do cases, everybody comes there, like the chairman said, multinationals come there, these uh, mining companies, we have cases from commercial, but we do cases where people get millions of Ghanaian cities and dollars. And if such people are paying a patri sum for filing like 100 cities or 200 cities, I don't think that it is out of place. The commission also raised concerns about instances where judges approached to ascertain the propriety of processes used in determining cases, ask for a retrial, even when the commission is right in law. So we um, raised an issue of uh, where we bring cases for enforcement. Then, having satisfied themselves with the procedures, the um, the the trial judge may want to reopen um, cases. And I, I said that that will amount to double trial and it will delay cases. So if the judge has satisfied himself that the right procedures were adopted in coming out of the decision, then there will be no need so that uh, uh, he just enforces our decision. And I've had an opportunity and, uh, where uh, an occasion where other appeal court judges call me to find out whether the issue that they raise, whether they should file the appeal at the uh, labor court or them. Because normally, the procedure is that if you want to appeal, you file it at where the decision was made. So let's assume that you, you, you lose a case at the high court. You want to appeal at the, uh, appeal to appeal court. You file it at the high court where the decision was made. So when they also want to appeal against their decisions, in actual fact, they should have filed it there. So they come and there's a problem. But here's the case where we don't charge fees. You see, and uh, the amount involved in building up a docket, setting up the records, is huge. The Chief Justice, in response, advised the Commission to apply to the next Superior Court for direction when it has problems with the approach used by any trial judge. If uh, the High Court uh, tries to unnecessarily intervene. Yes, you can appeal to the Court of Appeal if you are not satisfied to the Supreme Court. Reporting for City News, my name is Anne Shirley Zero.